Select Subject is the fastest, most automatic way to make a selection. You can access the Select Subject command by selecting the Quick Selection tool and going up to its options bar, or you can do that from the Magic Wand tool or from the Select menu, or even from the Select and Mask workspace. I've selected the Quick Selection tool, and then I'll go up to the Options bar, and all I have to do is click Select Subject. In just a moment, Photoshop has analyzed the image, found the most prominent subjects in the photo, which are these flowers, and created a selection around them. Now, sometimes this is all you need. Sometimes you need to fine tune the selection further. All that I wanna do is change the color of the selection so it doesn't have to be precise. Using this selection, I'll go to the bottom of the Layers panel and I'll click the Create New Fill and Adjustment Layer icon and I'll choose Hue Saturation. And then I'll just drag the Hue slider over to the right to change the color of these flowers from hot pink to coral. And the only part of the photo that's affected by this change is the area that had been selected by the Select Subject command. Now let's try this on another image. Even if you have a more complex subject to select, you can use the Select Subject command to get started and then clean up the selection with other selection tools. For example, let's click the Select Subject option up here in the Options bar on this photo, and Photoshop correctly identifies the prominent subject in the photo, the model, and it creates a selection around her. But as you can see, there is some cleanup work to be done on this selection. To do that, I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool, which is selected over here in the Tools panel. Before I click on the image, I'll go up to the Options bar, and I'm going to change this tool from its Create New Selection option to its Add to Selection option, so that I don't lose my automatic selection as soon as I click in the image. And then I'll move into the image, and I'm gonna start here removing something from the selection. So I'll hold down the Option key, that's the Alt key on Windows, and I'll click and drag. And I'll just continue around the image this way, removing what I don't want to include in this selection. I can change my brush size as I go by pressing the bracket keys on the keyboard. So I'll press the left bracket key a few times to reduce the size of the brush tip. I'll hold down the Option or Alt key, and I'll remove this area from the selection. I see a few areas to add back into the selection, so I'll release the Option or Alt key. That switches me back to the Add to Selection option, and I'll just come in and drag over those areas. Now, if I were going to cut out this model, I'd need a more precise selection, but this should do for the change that I'd like to make to the model, which is just to try to reduce the contrast in the lighting. So I'll go to the bottom of the Layers panel, and I'll click the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon, and I'll choose Brightness Contrast. Notice as I move the sliders in the Properties panel that the only part of the image that's affected is the model that I'd selected. And that selection does just fine for that job. But as I said, if you wanted to cut the model out and put her on another background, then you'd need a more precise selection. And for that, you may want to start with the Select Subject command and then go into the Select and Mask workspace to work with the sophisticated cleanup tools that you'll find there.